<laughs> I can guess. How come you left you out? Yeah. Oh, well, we don't. We're going to speak with photographers. You have to get a wider lens. Say, uh, before we begin, I know we, we never have enough time or anything, but courtesy of Pat, uh, could you, I think it's appropriate, could you listen to a bit of poetry? Yes. <laughs> this is from Kipling. It is always a temptation to an armed and agile nation to call upon a neighbor and to say, we invaded you last night, we are quite prepared to fight unless you pay us cash to go away. And that is called asking for Danegeld. And the people who ask it explain that you've only to pay them the Danegeld and then you'll get rid of the Dane. It's always a temptation to a rich and lazy nation to puff and look important and to say, though we know we should defeat you, we have not the time to meet you. We will therefore pay you cash to go away. And that is called paying the Danegeld. And we've proved it again and again that if once you've paid in the Danegeld, you never get rid of the Dane. <laughs> it's wrong to put temptation in the path of any nation for fear they should succumb and go astray. So when you're requested to pay up or be molested, you'll find it better policy to say, we never pay anyone Danegeld, no matter how trifling the cost, for the end of that game is oppression and shame, and the nation that plays it is lost. <laughs> so, no Danegeld. <laughs>